guys, so for today's video, it's going to be based off this makeup look right here. So it is a sparkly eye with a winged eyeliner, so it's sort of perfect for the holiday season. I sort of wanted to take it, because I feel like a lot of party season is, oh, here's a sparkly eye and a red lip. Even I always love a sparkly eye, no matter Christmas, rain, sun, birthday, whatever, like I'm always going to wear sparkle. But I feel like this is sort of nice and elegant. Um, there's no lower lash line and I've got no lashes on in this video. I feel like it's just really pretty, nice easy makeup. So yeah, let's jump into the video. So to start off, I'm going to take the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. So this is in the shade 2. So I just like to comb through the eyebrows. And then I'll just go ahead and fill them in with pencil after. So I typically draw a line underneath the eyebrow and then I'll go through, brush the eyebrow down and then just fill in the top part. So I'll go into this little section here and just fill that in first. And then I'll just fill in the top line part. And then I'll just sort of brush the hair out a little bit and just fill in any sections that might be missing. Then what I like to do is I like to take a bit of Benefit Gimme Brow, so this is in shade 1, and then I'll just run that through the front of the eyebrows. And then maybe what's ever left over I'll just sort of brush through the rest. So I'm just going to highlight the brow bones, I'm just going to take the Dose of Colour and I Heart Serheed Highlighter in Soulmate. This is so beautiful. I've just done a review on this, so the review should be up. So I'm going to take that on A Spectrum A12, and I'm just going to pop that underneath brow bone. So for eyeshadow base today I'm going to take the Essence Eye Heart Colour Intensifier Base and I'm just going to pop that all over the lid. Oh god I'm not running out of this. Oh, we've still got some in there. And then just going to blend that out. So I take the Crown Brush Duo Fibre Blending Brush and I just take the flat side. So I've just stuck some tape down. I'm going to go into the Dose of Colours uh, Desi and Katie Frencation Palette. So to start off, I'm going to take a little bit of this lighter pink shade in the top corner, which is called Basic. I'm going to put a bit of this through the crease and take a little bit of this one, which is necessary as well. Mix them both on this brush. So this is the Spectrum B06 and just run that through the crease. Then to further blend it out, I'm just going to take this um, Curl brush, this is just the other side from it. I'm going to take a little, a tiny, tiny amount of churro, which is this nice bottom brown shade. I'm going to take that on a crown brush C528. I literally want like a double of this. I don't want much at all in the crease, just to sort of deepen it up a little bit. Then taking a crown brush C431. I'm going to sort of blend that out. This is a pencil brush, it's just to really blend it out because I literally want the tiniest amount of that colour. And taking a bit more of a uh, basic on the Spectrum B06, I'm just going to buff that all out. Then for lid colour, I'm going to take this beautiful. Um, I don't know if it's pink or gold, sparkly shade, but this is just a kiss. And I'm going to pack that on with a Spectrum A16. I'm just going to take my finger and then pack it on even more. Okay, so for eyeliner today, I'm just going to take the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. So this is in True Part. I'm going to try my best to stay on camera. I don't think I'm going to do a wing. I don't know if I want to do a wing, uh, but we're just going to draw a bit of a liner on basically. So I've just gone in with sort of a little wing, and I like to put tape down so you can get like um, a size under there, otherwise it, it'd be a hot mess for me. So you can do it without tape, bravo, if not, tape's the best way to go. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to take a um, black eye liner this is like a crayon one so this is from model co so this is in just black so it is an eye defined crayon 
and I like to basically just do my top waterline. This is also a great pencil because it's really precise and it doesn't smudge, collect, none of that stuff. So I'm just going to apply some top lash mascara. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal Double Extension Waterproof Mascara in black. So I'm just going to curl the eyelashes first. And take some half eyelash curlers as well because I love these from MAC. When you've got dead straight lashes, like you will do anything to make them curly. And these are the best things ever. So I do take a little bit of the primer side. I'm not really that bothered about getting it on the lashes too much. Then we go in with the mascara. So for primer today, I'm going to take the Nip and Fab Rose Gold Essence. So I'm just going to apply this all over the face. I'm just going to take it on an elf stippling brush. So I'll just take a few drops on this and then just go in and apply that in all over. And then for foundation today, I'm going to mix a bit of the Sleek Life Proof Foundation. So this is in LP03 with the Elf Flawless Finish in Porcelain. I don't think this is porcelain anymore. I think this is known as natural. I'm also going to take a bit of the Iconic London Illuminator. So this is in original. So yeah. I'm going to mix that all into a palette and apply that all over the face. Just blend that out with a Clarisonic. You can take the blender brush wherever you want. So for concealer today, I'm going to take the Sleek Makeup Life Proof Concealer. So this is in the shade Flat White. I'm actually just going to put a little bit on. <laughs> little. It's not a little. It's a lot. We like our makeup thick on this channel. So I'm just going to take that on the under eyes, forehead, a little bit down nose, his <laughs> eye, so, and then like a dot on the chin. I love the little brush with this. Like some of them are such fat applicators nowadays, but this you can get right into the little areas. I love it. To blend that out, I'm just going to take the Kat Von D concealer brush. So I'm just going to pat this out. I will go in with a beauty blender after, but I've just got to go and wet it, so for now, just packing it out with this a little bit. So I'm just going to take the Real Techniques um, little miracle sponge, I think they're called. These are like the little diggy diggy ones. These are so nice for blending out um, concealer and stuff, especially on the under eye. I'm just going to spray a little bit of the Pixi Glow Mist all over the face, and then I'm going to blend it out a bit more with the uh, little miracle sponge. So for cream contour, I'm going to take the Instant Rimmel Duo Contour Stick. I love this freaking thing. It's going down some. So I'm just going to apply that to the forehead and the cheeks and then put this like oh, on the nose area. Blend that out, I'm just going to take the Clarisonic again. To add a little bit of warmth into the skin, I'm just going to take the Hourglass, I think this is the Ambient Lightning Edit Unlocked palette. So I'm just going to take a bit of this bronzer shade in the top here. So I'm going to take that on a Spectrum C07 and then just apply that where we applied the contour basically, just to give a little bit more warmth. This is shimmery, but it doesn't come off shimmery on the face. It actually comes off with a nice bit of sheen, which looks really really pretty what well, I think anyway then I'm just going to take a bit of the hourglass bow retouching fluid I'm just going to pack a little bit of that in the inner corners of oh of the eyes I'll just pack that out with my finger then to set the under eyes I'm not going to take the same palette and take this top shade up here so I'm just going to pack that underneath the eyes then to set the entire base I'm going to take the next shade over on this big Kat Von D brush. I think this is the 20 brush, yeah. And then for highlighter, we're gonna go back into the um, Dose of Colour I Heart Sarah Heed. I Heart, why do I want to say I Heart? It's I love Sarah He. And I think I said that at the beginning of my video when I highlighted my brow bone, please do ignore me. I'm gonna take that under Crown Brush C529. You can use the highlighter that's in the Hourglass palette, no doubt, it's beautiful. <laughs> But um, yeah, this is this is my new best friend now. Like we're going everywhere together. I'm gonna go backpacking across Western Europe and everything. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply that to the tops of the cheeks on the tip of the nose. 
the little it'll look cute here so maybe if I've got anything left over on the brush I might tap off a little bit of the excess and just sort of bit to the chin and the forehead otherwise I don't want too much guy there I'm just going to take the highlighter on the spectrum A12 that we took to the brow bone and just pop that on the inner corners so I'm just going to apply bottom lash mascara I love a naked lower lash line at the minute I feel like it just opens my eyes especially when I've got winged eyeliner on um, if you did want to add shadow, then to me, I would have personally taken basic and necessary and smoked that on the lower lash line. And maybe a little bit of that brown shade, but I can't remember what it's called. But yeah, like I put that under there, but for now, it's just mascara. So I'm just going to take a bit more of the Pixie Glow Mist. Spray that all over. And I'm just going to take a bit of the Urban Decay All Night Setting Spray. So for lipstick, I'm just going to go in with a gloss just to keep it nice and simple. So this is the Malfi by Megan McKenna. So this is in the shade Go Bare. Um, she just, she was, she didn't really have anything on her website for ages. And now she's come back. I don't know if she reformulated anything or she just didn't want to sell stuff or whatever. But she's back. And these glosses are absolutely stunning, like gorgeous. And they smell so good. So this is the completed makeup look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Bye. My nose is running because it's so cold in here. Like I'm freezing. I actually don't know what today's video is going to be called. So that's a good start, isn't it? Oh, God, I like my beauty blender. Oh, it's still wet from yesterday. <laughs>